James Kaufman, World News Report today. Today, September 8, 2023, 11.30 a.m. Central here in the U.S. God bless you and yours, no matter where you are in the world. Please subscribe, give us a thumbs up, ring that bell for critical future updates. Overnight, we had a 6.6 .6 magnitude earthquake south of the Chromatic Islands. It's had an associated tsunami warning with it, and the earthquake was thought to be around 89.8 kilometers in depth. Now, as most of my subscribers and viewers know, this is all associated with the new continent rising out of the ocean, Zealandia. We'll take a look at that real quick. An honorable mention over here. We did have a 5.6 just now. It's going to be off the coast of Mexico at 35 kilometers. It is on a plate boundary that runs into the west coast of the U.S. So we're going to see where that energy moves to. So for any of our new viewers or subscribers, we have Zealandia coming up all around New Zealand. And they've actually petitioned for a land grab for most of this area. Now, I believe that the continent's going to go further north all the way to Fiji and wrap around to Papua New Guinea. But this is the gist of it. It's coming up out of the sea. And again, New Zealand has made a land grab as far as continental shelf for a lot of the area you see here in yellow. You can see Australia is here next to it. Over to volcanoesandearthquakes.com. We see that this was reported as a 6.9 magnitude earthquake. Wow. And a depth of a hundred kilometers so this could be much stronger than the 6.6 reported by the usgs and this came from new zealand itself which is right on top of the situation and has many geophones in that area we also see the french come in at a 6.3 this would be laughable to you if you were one of our frequent subscribers or viewers uh, the French always come in the very lowest with every earthquake, and a 6.3 is probably the strongest earthquake they've ever called out. Let's get some more detailed information on this earthquake. I want y'all to take a quick look. Zealandia is this continent here rising, and New Zealand has done a land grab on the light blue area. And I actually went in and read the definition of continental shelf, and it fits it very well. So I don't know how NATO is going to handle this, the UN is going to handle this, but they have made the claim that this is the continental shelf. Now, I don't know if New Zealand can be considered a continent, but definitely maybe a mini continent. Over to VolcanoDiscovery.com, they have it also as a 6.9 magnitude earthquake. They're going to be using Australia and New Zealand as their source. Let's go get some additional information. Earthquake details 6.9 confirmed Geonet, New Zealand, main source 21.1 atomic bombs worth of energy released with this single earthquake. Scary. This was definitely a large and strong earthquake after not seeing one for some weeks. We first have New Zealand coming in, Geonet, New Zealand at a 6.9. Germany comes in at 6.5, Raspberry Shake a 6.6, the Australians a 6.6, the French a 6.3 here. We have the Italians coming in at 6.4, the USGS a 6.6, and the International Research Institute on Seismology a 6.6. Now, there was a tsunami warning, so I was going to quickly check the buoys. So, we have no buoys in that area in event mode whatsoever. I would expect there to be some buoy activity as we see Hurricane Lee come up the East Coast. So, that will be interesting to watch. So, even though the USGS comes in at a 6.6, .6, we're going to go with the folks on the ground in the area of New Zealand, a 6.9 magnitude earthquake, associated tsunami warning. We did not see a tsunami uh, per all the buoys. And 
based on Earth's position in the solar system, all of the solar activity we're getting, this could be the very start of several weeks, if not months, of larger earthquake activity. So stay alert, stay vigilant, please share, subscribe, and always remember that anything's possible in Bizarro World.